You know, with watching Angel Reese, not only on the basketball court, but just seeing how she operates in her day to day life as a young woman, a young black woman, a young businesswoman, what strikes me about her, a lesson that we all can take away, is her ability to network and the importance of networking. Again, I've said it many times, I'm going to continue to say it. I am currently serving active duty military orders in the Air Force, but I plan to leave the Air Force next year, so I am a transitioning a transitioning member out of the Air Force, right? Right now I'm doing taps and trying to skill bridge and do all this stuff. And what I've noticed about Angel Reese is that she's very uh, good at keeping powerful uh, connections and networks and just networking in general. So a man by the name of Andrew Silver, again, like he runs a podcast and also he's a CEO. He just, um, I'll insert the picture that he has right here with Angel Reese in front of his. He put on his Twitter, he says, Angel Reese is now my favorite WNBA player. And the Sky's coach, T. Spoon, Teresa Weatherspoon, is going to do incredible things leading the team. Hearing her speak on the panel was inspiring. I couldn't be higher on her as an individual, and I'm very confident in her as head coach. And it got me to thinking, like, who exactly is Andrew Silver? So I'm going to show you right now. So he has a podcast that's on Apple. If you have Apple Music, I'm an Apple Music uh, girly. So it says, the Fright Pod is a deep dive into the journeys of the transportation and logistics industry's brightest minds and innovators. The show is hosted by Andrew Silver, former founder and CEO of Molo Solutions, one of the fastest growing freight brokerages in the industry. His guests will be CEOs, founders, executives, and leaders from some of the most successful freight brokerages, trucking companies, man manufacturers, and technology companies that support this great industry. Andrew will interview his guests with a focus on their life and how they got to where they are today, unlocking the key ingredients that helped them develop into the leaders they are now. He will also bring to light the fascinating stories that help mold and shape his experiences. So again, Andrew Silver is a Chicago-based businessman and CEO. Again, he runs his own podcast called The Fright. He in interviews very important people. And you know, somehow, some way, uh, Andrew Reese was able to uh, get this man's attention, or he was able to get her attention, either way or, right? And, and they came together, they they took this picture on his Twitter, he posted it on his Twitter, again, I'll sort of hear this entire video, and he said that he has, she has become his favorite WNBA player, again, that's the power of connection and networking, and again, guys, again, I know, like, I don't want to just go on, you know, just the WNBA spill, but just, I wish I would have known then what I know now when I be became a first-term airman, serving active duty military orders for the United States Air Force, just the power of networking. And again, like it's not, and I don't want to say this to discourage you, but a lot of times it is not about what you know. It is about who you know, but you know, just to multiply the power of times too, I would say it's about who you know and what you know. And again, Angel Reese, she's making some very powerful connections. Again, we've seen her uh, taking dinners with uh, a co-owner of the Chicago Sky, Mrs. Nadia Rallison. Okay. She's a very uh, important, powerful black woman who's a co-owner of the Chicago Sky. And, um, you know, um, Jeff um, Pagliaca, you know, he's a, a general manager of the Chicago Sky. She's, you know, pitching her ideas to them about, you know, what the ladies need, our Chicago, Chicago skyscrapers need as far as facilities, right? That's why they said that they're building a new, what, $60 million, $80 million, $80 million facility that'll have, you know, more in the innovative technologies that'll help uh, rec repair, recover, and strengthen them. In regards to the, of the Chicago skyscraper leaders, ladies being a uh, professional athlete. Again, Angel Reese is out here making her rounds during the Paris Olympics. It doesn't matter if she's an Olympian or not. Okay, she was out there out in Paris during like about 10 days out in Paris, just support, not only just supporting Team USA, be it basketball, soccer, whatever. It was mainly basketball, but she was out there. She took pictures with Anna Wintour. You don't think she got in that woman's ear and said, hey, you know, uh, come December, January, February, uh, you know, if you need somebody, if you need a body for the, a winter spread, uh, a spring spread, you know, her birthday is May 6th. Again, she's a tourist sister like me. Okay, myself, I'm born April 25th. Okay, again, like she's rubbing shoulders, okay, and learning how to network beyond her industry. Again, this man, Andrew Silver, you know, Anna Wintour, um, Dwayne Wade, uh, you know, former uh, uh, NBA retired basketball player. He, you know, is now also another co-owner of the Chicago Sky. He sees the potential and the vision and in these ladies of our Chicago skyscrapers. He wants to invest now. He actually became co-owner last year. I did a video of that some weeks ago. And you can just see that, again, Angel Reese is a powerful, skilled businesswoman. She's very intelligent. I believe her um, 
college degree, it was communications, I believe, and business strategy. I'm pretty sure it was communications, something that had to do with that. And, you know, a lot of fans, or not just fans, but, you know, the CC fans, again, some of them had rung up, like, you know, oh, she has a, she had a low GPA, and woo woo woo. It's like, you know, it don't matter, okay? But the saying goes, C's get degrees. And whether she got a C, B, or D in a class here and there during her college career as a ball player, she's using that communications degree and she's using it to her advantage because every other day I see Angel Reese taking pictures. Okay, she's flicking it up with very important, powerful men and women. If I was Angel Reese, this is what this is gonna be a game changer. Kim, uh, I almost said Camilla Cardoso. Oh my God, Kamala Harris. Okay, vice president right now of the United States. Okay, first female vice president. She is on her way possibly, okay, to become the first woman and woman of color, okay, she's half black, half Indian, half, you know, she's a black woman, right, of, of the United States, to become the president of the United States, the, the highest, most powerful position. She got to come, again, come November through January, February of 2025, be in D.C., be in the inauguration, shake hands. Again, like, I don't understand, like, a lot of people, like, try to run away from politics. I believe it's a way that you can tastefully do politics where, you're not being disrespectful to the opposing side, right? If you're team Democrat, you don't have to be disrespectful to team Republican. If you're team Republican, you can re support uh, Republican ideals and principles and, and ideologies and philosophies without being disrespectful, right? And without causing harm and causing, you know, uh, 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 just being offensive to the opposing side. If I was uh, Angel Reese, I don't know who her managers are. I was like, listen, get around Kamala Harris. Start trying to rally up a, a little bit, you know, off court again. You know, you don't have to say anything about sensitive topics such as, you know, abortion, illegal immigration, you know, um, you know, the lockup system. Just say, you know, I would keep it light. I'm like, hey, Kamala Harris, you know, if you like basketball, if you if you want to support the women's team here, here you go, baby. I got, you know, free tickets for you, your husband, you know, your sister, your family, whoever, you know, come sit courtside at Chicago Sky, a home game. And I want, you know, it's on us. You know, you have tickets, you know, courtside tickets on us. You have treats, beer, alcohol, you know, water, whatever beverage you like. We want to accommodate you again. Come support us at the Chicago Sky Ladies, and we'll support you in return. You know, it can run, it can make and, and build a fundraiser, and you know, they can really just, you know, use the um, the current uh, 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 high interest that's being generated in women's sports, not just women's sports, but you know, I mean, uh, women's basketball, but not just just women's sports in general. And they can use that to their advantage, okay? We have a powerful black woman on the rise, Kamala Harris, who may potentially become, you know, the, the next president of the United States, the most powerful and innovative uh, uh, country in the world. And then you have Angel Reese, who is, you know, in the current running, the rookie of the year. She's a very powerful young black woman herself. Uh, and, you know, she's in the rankings of trying to become great and, you know, putting more eyes and generating more interest in women's sports and, and specifically women's basketball and the WNBA. And it's like, you know, it's like that, that networking again. I love what she's doing with Andrew Silver, Anna Wintour, so many people, you know, she's brushing shoulders with, she's, you know, having advertisements with, she's in commercials. You know, she's, you know, a great role model for young girls. But again, I'm sorry, but like, I need a picture, at least just a picture of, of, of um, uh, Kamala Harris with Angel Reese. Again, like some people will say, oh, she's this and that, like to me, I don't understand like what's offensive. It's like, yeah, like I want Kamala Harris to be the next president of the United States, whether I'm a Democrat or not. It's like, you know what? She's a young black woman. She sees this powerful older black woman as a, you know, role model, someone that she can model herself after, her attitude, her, you know, uh, dignity, her core values, you know, being more demure. Okay. If y'all if you know, if you know, okay, that's a little TikTok pin, you know, you know, very demure. Okay, so again, like Angel Reese knows and understands the power of networking and it's, it's something that we all can take from her and learn from her as well and just use it and utilize that, the power of networking to our own advantage. Again, shout out Angel Reese for rubbing shoulders with the uh, amazing Andrew Silver. She's got me wanting to check out some of his um, podcasts. Again, I have an Apple Music. I'm an Apple Music girly. So I'm going to check out some of his podcasts because again, he's a huge CEO businessman in the land of Chicago. And he's saying, you know what, she's my favorite WNBA player. So I'm like, you know what, let me see what Andrew Silver is about. Okay, again, like Angel, y'all, get this video to Angel Reese, okay? Her manager, somebody, listen to me, okay? I got some free advice for you, some free game. Come November through De December, January of 2025, the inauguration, you know, the election day, rub shoulders with some political powers, okay? Get some photos with Kamala Harris. Give Kamala Harris and her family, her husband, 
free tickets to a Chicago home sky game, pay for all the drinks and beverages they want, whatever they whatever it is that they need. Try to run, raise some money, have a little fundraiser to go to the Harris campaign. Okay, come through in the inauguration when Kamala Harris gets elected as the first woman, first black woman president of 2025, okay, of the United States of America, period. Come through with a silk press, bust down, jet black, 30-inch weave.